Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Shenanigans. A great green claw is reaching through the portal. Oh, shit. Someone gonna get grabbed and dragged back through. Hold on, Neil. First, Lizzie attacks it with a broom. <laughs> <laughs> she has already put down the broom after bashing you each on the head. I, I don't think so, Neil. Yeah, uh, once Desmond started to close the portal, she thought no one else was coming through, so she disarmed herself voluntarily mm -hmm. and readied no further attacks. Mm -hmm. So Cathal had turned, correct? And I presume green dragons are known to be evil? Oh, yes. Yes. My so uh, Cathal will try to drive it back with uh, a stab. Uh, <laughs> Can I uh, attack yet? Goodbye, Paladin. I think the two of you should roll initiative to see who attacks who first. Uh, but you're definitely the one that it could possibly grab because you're standing right in front of it. So give me a d10 plus whatever your weapon speed oh, yeah. is. I should probably also roll initiative because I want to do something. He's going to two-hand his... Um, uh, he will, yeah, he dropped... Because they loaded the steel into the shield. He'd have to drop, put the shield down and two-hand the boss. Yeah, okay. I'm definitely dead, but... Oh, well. Play the character. Play Let's the character. Roll your initiative. Eight. 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 You will go before the dragon. Uh, Gwathir and Kathlum. Both take your actions, I will please. cast this place self. <laughs> okay. You're safe. Kathlum, what do you do, <laughs> buddy? Kathlum will take a swing. Let me just work out the bonus to hit, which is minimal. Um, two hand, plus one, only plus one damage... Yeah, so I think it's just flat d20. Let's see it. Miss. Nope, nope. You go to two-hand it and raise your sword, and it gets stuck in the ceiling because you're inside in a hallway, <laughs> and you should not be swinging swords in hallways. It'll get stuck no, on the room, ceilings yeah. and walls. Uh, maybe. Still, you're in, in you're in a building. If you try and raise a sword above your head, it's going to yes, get... Yes, I, I agree. Gonna, but if ass. you're in a room, you can definitely freely, freely swing a sword. Depends on the size of the room, you know, it's... How big is your sword? Yeah, if it's a bastard sword, I, I three and a half feet on top of your, your other, your arm. Uh, yeah, I think be... I could freely swing but a sword. Connor, don't forget, this is not a modern building. I know. I mean, I, I have swung good. swords inside and damaged room ceilings from them. It It is difficult. Uh -huh. uh, so that's what yeah, happens, that's cool. is you go to like, <laughs> oh shit, and the dragon claw... <laughs> Comes with a hit Remember. against you. Give me an opposed strength check to see if you can brace yourself or be dragged through the portal into certain death. Is anybody Ooh, else the dragon doesn't roll very well. It rolls. Um, come on, you stupid calculator. It rolls like a 25. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yes. You get your feet braced against the wall as the dragon is pulling you in towards it. It's squeezing you too for non insignificant amounts of damage. Let me just figure oh. out how much the green dragon does with a melee attack. You should. Oh. A, B, C, D, dragon, <laughs> green. Mm -hmm. Big mm -hmm. ass dragon. Might mm -hmm. just be dead. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it depends on if anyone takes the opportunity to cut his wrist. So, and if you oh, deal mm -hmm. thirty damage, you are dead. Uh, we're gonna divide it by two because it's not a regular claw attack; it's a grab attack. But it's now just squeezing, so we're gonna do half damage. So mm -hmm. seventeen divided by two is <sighs> eight, nine, nine damage. Eight damage. Uh, Eight definitely damage. unconscious. Might be Eight. still stuck to my sword. Uh, okay, so it can't get you through, so it just goes to like crush you, and we're gonna roll initiative for the next round because you, if if no one sell, saves you, it's gonna now drag you through because you're unconscious and can't Close resist. the door. Uh, Neil, does it look like one could do an AOE, short range AOE, and not hit him, and only the claw and the portal? Not if it's an AOE attack. Uh, initiative. Just a second. I'm so sorry, Paladin. You're probably gonna die. 
Capelm doing his job, protecting the innocents from the evil creature. There's a uh, reason there are so few paladins in Arcadia. Why are they doing so young? <laughs> yeah, they all die at level one. <laughs> They're all like, it's the right thing to do! <laughs> all the, also, paladins in Arcadia are kind of aggressive. They tend to be very aggressive. Mm -hmm. uh, we never know. The the residents here might actually save the paladins. Oh, yeah. What is Desmond doing? <laughs> Um, dragon rolls way slow. Zen, you're the first one to act. All right, well, um, and then I'm fucking running. You magic missile the dragon's hand and run away. <laughs> That's legit. Bastion, what do you do? Uh, Guafia will swing his sword against the claw. That's an 11. And step back. Uh, Gwathir also did not learn the lesson about attacking indoors, and his blade also gets caught on the surrounding I think terrain. He, he tries not to swing overhead, he kind of swings to the side, it gets just yeah, stuck it in It just the hits a wall, and you're like, God damn it. Shag! I cast Grease on the dude. Hey! Uh, <laughs> on, on which dude? On Catham? On, yeah, on Catham. I cast Ooh, Grease. All right, the dragon's got to make a saving throw or a dex check or something to hold on to the slippery, slippery paladin. Uh... You know, I considered casting invisibility, the dragon just brings it through and he's not in his head. <laughs> so uh, the dragon squeezes and Catham just goes out through the top, <laughs> lands on a bed nearby, and the dragon claw retracts through the portal. Before it closes, uh, should someone hear him? Yes. Can you probably hear, hear this like this like labored breathing of like um, probably significantly damaged ribs and? Uh, yeah. yeah. You also take a point of bleeding damage. This is <laughs> gone. Uh, and the portal closes once the dragon's hand is removed. Then we'll start trying to patch him up. All right, you guys are going to be able to repair Catham. Nope. Need to make a check. <laughs> oh, that's not a guaranteed success? Okay, that's fine. That's a success. It's fine. It's a very success. Very good use of grease, Connor. Yeah. That was like basically the only thing that could have ever have saved him. <laughs> but the invisibility would have been more fun. Uh, uh, it would have I been had, hilarious, but he still would have died. I had color spray, burning hands, and ventriloqu ventriloquism. Ventriloquism? Ventriloquism, yeah. <laughs> Make a noise behind it. <laughs> hey, well, remember, it's just a dragon claw. Like the dragon can't see or Yeah, I know. I can't, also can't see the other side of the board. So. All right. right. The party is gathered together in shenanigans. Uh, Lizzie is giving Desmond a talking to over on the side. Uh, Borsh is already downstairs with his chicken leg I'm like, munching on it. I'm like sorting the steel. Like, oh boy, here we go. Look at all this. Like, so uh, how much, I, I don't know, I know how much iron is worth, but do you know how much steel is worth? Same, same. Interchangeable. Oh, okay. yeah. That is a lot of, wow. It's a, it's a decent amount of money, yeah. It's like over 3,000 gold coins. This is good shit. So we got, I wasn't able to bring mine through, but we got like, what, 80 pounds? Uh, that, wait, you, you didn't have yours? No, because remember, I was dragging a big ass heavy thing, and I'm oh, just like... Yeah. 80 it's pounds, yeah. Life. 80 pounds times 80 pounds. 25. So we have 2,000 steel. 2,000 gold worth of steel. 2,000 copper worth of steel. No, gold. Because 80 pounds pound of... times 25. Uh, Is it 2,500 copper? 2, copper, copper times per... 50. It should be, uh, actually, should be, sorry, 100,000 copper. Because 80 pounds is times 50 coins. And then times each iron is 25 copper. So it should be no, 100,000 copper. Each pound of iron is 2,500 copper, Neil. Each pound of iron is yes. 50 iron coins. Each iron coin is worth 25 copper coins. So each pound of iron is 1,250 yeah. copper. And you have 80 of them, which is 100,000 copper. But we had, don't iron have, is wait, good. your metal, iron metal is worth 2,000. 
500 copper, so 25 gold. No, iron is pound. worth 25 copper. Doesn't say so on your sheet. Yeah, okay, here we go. Take a look at this. I'll post it in Twitch Oh, yeah, chat. the economics uh, is then weird. Iron. I don't know why... I don't know where you're getting these informations from, but you I'm trying to figure out like meal. why iron and then go over the copper. Um, yeah, so copper. one pound um, of iron is off on the economic sheet. Is that really off? So, okay, Neil, just a second. So I'm looking at this iron and then look in the copper column and it says 50. Then you go over to the cost per pound column and it says 25. Which... Wait, which page are you looking at? Economics? I'm looking at the metals on the economics. Um, under the gear subsection, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, no, there's, is... a, there's a whole metals section to it, too. Yes, no, I'm looking at the Oh, fuck yeah, the, the metals metal... section is outdated. Okay. Uh, that's our problem here, is that we've got two different ones, and I'm, as I made changes, I did not update them all. Yes, this one should be... Like years ago, we changed the pricing on this shit. Oh my god. How are we? We need to fix this. Where is I need to log into the right area here. Uh, economics. Yeah, a long time ago we changed this pricing. I forgot that this metal page even existed. Where is it hiding? This should be... Boom. That should solve that. And then if we come over to here and we come over to here, it should be one, two, five, zero, right? 50 times 25, yes. Okay. Perfect, all right, it's all fixed. Sorry for the confusion. I had bad tables. I take full responsibility. Um, so how much? 100,000 copper is your total haul. Okay, so worth. So 1,000 uh, golds worth of steel. Right, but yeah. you have to oh. keep a track of it as 80 pounds of steel because yeah. you don't have a converter around. Yeah. Um, so you can just leave 80 pounds of steel somewhere. Uh, Boris is in the kitchen munching on his leg. Desmond and Lizzie are hashing it out. Uh, the four of you are standing around. Well, three of you are standing around. One of you is lying around. <laughs> what do so. you do? I, I kind of lean over to Bosch, to Bosch. So where did that portal lead to? To the island Gnome or the nation? Mm. Land of delicious turkeys. They're so good. Oh my god. I'm going to ask Desmond later. Do you know where you can find turkeys? I mean, there's turkeys everywhere, but these are the special turkeys and they're so much better. And from where are they? The island of the Turkey. Turkey Island. Mm, it's a wonderful Turkey place. Island. But uh, it unfortunately, also it's infested with evil forest gnomes. Oh, don't yes. worry. They're going to be a little slightly less evil. You should have I mean, seen what I jacked from one of their rooms. What'd you take? Some pretty freaking dank schematics. Well, you should dry them out before you try and read them. Then, did did you not that did sort you, of dank? Oh, did you? Oh, find dank that, as in that? memes. You're right, yes. right. Yeah. Your kids these days, your human kids, and your weird things. I heard someone using the word "ill" as a positive recently. And That's I was weird. just confused by it. What? I can't keep up with the change in colloquialisms. Well, besides the fact that nobody here is a kid, and well, only half human. Uh, by the way, did you find the plans for those turkeys? Plans those for turkeys? No, I found oh. something way better than dumbass fucking turkeys. What? I like pull out one, like I'll pull out the roll and I was like flip through them. I'll look for the one that's ahead and I was like slap that down. That, wow, that is <clears> a dragon. Mm hmm. These are mine now. And take it, roll it back up in there, put it away. Don't show that to the gnome. Unless you want to build it, because he will build it. I don't know what they're trying to go with these hydraulics, though. Like, when you're trying to operate something via hydraulics, it doesn't... Something that large is not going to happen quickly. No. 
probably not. I mean, this it is, it, like... It'd be like one of those slow deaths where you you see the jaws closing in on you, but it's going to be like you have, ah! you probably have like a good 15 to 20 seconds before they completely crush through you and you die. I mean, maybe it is working in tandem with some sort of spell or enchantment that holds you in place. Maybe. You cast maybe. haste on the hydraulics first. Mm. Ah! Be- you, you, cast haste you, still, you still have like 10 Three seconds seven. to step out of it. <laughs> Five to 10 seconds. Yeah. But anyway, it's still pretty fucking awesome. I mean, a mechanical dragon, huh? Well, it would be kind of absurd to build one up to one on one to one scale. That would be. It absurd. would be absurd. And but it'd also be pretty cool to have like a small one. Oh yeah, I can see it in application as a small one. Probably more dangerous and annoying as those turkeys. Mm-hmm. It'd look cooler too than some dumbass turkey. True. Although I think one could improve the design over here and here, at least in terms of the visuals. And he kind of gets like some kind of paper and pen or co you know, coal pen or something. It just As long as you're not drawn on my schematics. No, he's not. Uh, arts and crafts, you know. He's just Making it look a bit more elven <laughs> in that regard. See, and this is how you could make it a bit more aesthetically pleasing. And some of those look cool. Some of them look just like some of your dumbass elf shit. Like the tree on there, why do you, what is it with you in trees? Like, oh, oh, so, oh, sorry. Uh, I must have drawn that by accident. No, the tree is by supposed accident. To be there's here. like fifteen of them on there. No, no, no. See, the trees, they they are not up to scale. Sorry, I should have drawn them smaller. They are ch- small trees. Mm. They are, but they're not, you know, three dimensional. They are flat trees, in, instead of these uh, things they have the, on their back. The, what are they called? Spikes. Yeah, you can call them spikes or something. But yeah, I, I suppose it does not clash well with the rest of the design. I, I don't know. Some, some of this stuff, it, you're just trying to make it look like a, a dog with fleas, so. <sighs> you're not the first one to tell me that. My sister always says that. Ah, damn her. She can't draw any better, I, I'm sure of it. Anyway, um, maybe we should get this stuff. Uh, Sure. This would make a lovely sword, I have to say. This steel. Yeah, it will. So, what are you guys doing? I mean, Being unconscious. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, split it in even 60, 10, 10, 10. Well, that, first of that all, that doesn't add to 80. Well, first of all, I kind of point out then he wasn't there. Mm, oh, that's a good point. Isn't that's it? Uh, also, I don't know if he needs steel. I really don't. Uh, so it would be uh, 80. Sweet. 40, 30, 10. That no. also... Well, that, no, that does make 80. That's good. Okay. Uh, it would... Good. Uh, rather, it would be 26, 26, 27. Well, roughly. Twenty-six, twenty-six. Mm. He thinks for mine. Twenty-six, twenty-six. Mm, that also doesn't add up to eighty. No, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-seven. Sorry. There you go. Okay. Or forty, thirty, ten. Who gets the forty? I do, of course. You I didn't. I dibs on it. I found it. But you didn't carry the stuff. You wouldn't have carried it at all if I hadn't gone in there. Hmm. That is a fair argument, I have to admit. And I mean, he's unconscious, so he can hand over his one pound. <laughs> he of, can't. He can hand over his one pound of steel to the church if he wants to. Hmm. And with ten pounds, he's, uh, he still has plenty to go with. Probably yep. enough to make a shield. Oh, maybe. Yeah. And if he doesn't have enough, you can just ask me for a loan. <laughs> 
as a weekly interest rate. Well, maybe we should get working then. Uh, Desmond. Uh, Lizzie puts up a finger to you as she continues to talk to Desmond. I think I have enough time to go trade this in for something. I don't even know what I want. Yeah. Let's, let's go shopping. Yes. So like so sort it out and like rough, give like roughly 10 pounds, like just leave it in a pile at the feet of the paladin. Um, <clears throat> Like or that one 10 pound chain we have in the backpack. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just like laid across his legs or something. Um, <laughs> then later on, he tries to get up. There's a 10 pound chain, steel chain on his legs. Oh. Man, look at all this stuff. I don't even know what I, I don't even know what I can do with all of this. All right, a few minutes later, uh, Desmond walks downstairs defeated. Lizzie comes over to the three of you and says, <clears throat> I'm sorry, you had to witness that. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, we prepared, uh, I was there when we prepared that whole party for you, so I've seen worse. Right, right. Um, do you guys mind uh, giving us the, the afternoon at the bar? We have some things to work out uh, oh don't worry we were just about to go shopping oh, oh go yeah uh, as when we're go as we're going uh just one question what kind of country was it was that gnome quite curious curious i have no idea no, that was just a joke. Said it's like no uh, 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 and she takes off <laughs> uh we are going to get someone ourselves. comes by and heals the paladin for one, so he's not spending the rest of the session unconscious. <laughs> a random passerby is a cleric who comes through the tavern and is like, I sense there's a wounded person nearby. Here we go. It and heals the paladin. Comes up, rubs all of her hands. <laughs> it's like it's like Droopy. Droopy comes by and licks him for one. <laughs> Some random NPC passerby comes and heals the paladin for one. It's fine. It's fine. It's great. It's great. Yeah. All right. Uh, here's your ch share. Uh, we are going to get, uh, well, traded in. This somewhat doesn't feel balanced. Is the chain worth more than the blocks? Oh, remember we said we were going to give that to the church. And we, we, we took care of that already. Yes. They haven't lied to him so far, I guess, other than... <laughs> <laughs> you have noticed us lying to you? So it's, wow. been, it's been like four hours since he passed out. We, we already took that, and now it's time to go shopping. I mean, you didn't notice us lying on... Well, I said to you one time I lied about finding this. <laughs> but... Charisma versus intelligence? or <laughs> I'm clearly stacked. <laughs> I mean, I can do a charisma check if you want. <laughs> yeah, if you want to roll charisma, I'll roll intelligence and we'll see you win. <laughs> oh, no, that you have be... no idea what's going on, Kathleen. <laughs> you just woke up and you're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. Yep, okay, so uh, Catherine will head off with you guys so he can liquidate this chain and donate his tithe to the grieving people who lost family members when we were attacked by metal turkeys. That is wonderful. How are you going to find the family members of the bereaved? I will investigate with the sheriff after I've liquidated oh. this chain at a blacksmith. Wonderful. Uh, you can... Do this. You can uh, get it broken down into, like, he'll un he'll break the chain into its component links, so that way you can give each person a link because the you know the or you know break it up and here's five links for you, five links for you because the the value of the iron is in the metal itself as a raw material, so you don't need it in coins. Um, so you pass out all of your wealth to the the families of the the deceased. You're the other a generally two, good person. Other three party members are going to do what with it? Are you going to go on a shopping spree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
All right, no, let's start up the really shopping like music. I what are you guys going to go buy? Zen, do you have anything you need to buy also? I know you're not getting paid here, but are you making bank? Are you, no. are you spending bank? No, I think he's good. There's nothing he wants. All right. What are you buying, everyone? Well, I would like to acquire a steel bastard sword and steel chain. Uh, how much money do you have? What's your what's your cash I value? I have 30 pounds of steel. And Convert some... that to copper coins for me. Uh, 30 pounds of that is... Wait, let me... 80 is 100%, 50... How much is... Oh, God. That's... Sorry, I 30. can convert it. You said you have 30 pounds? 30 times, times 50 times 25. You've got 37,000 copper. 30... Yeah. I have 375 gold in the steel. 37,000 copper! Alright, I will acquire a steel bastard sword and steel chain chest. Uh, God, look at the bastard sword weight and pricing in the player's handbook and convert it. Do, 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 do. Money and equipment. Bastard sword weighs ten. four pounds and costs ten gold pieces. No, a bastard sword should weigh ten. At least. Uh, oh, I'm looking uh, at a broadsword. I'm sorry. Yeah, 10 pounds, 25 gold pieces. So, a steel sword. I provide the steel, so. Weight of item, 10 pounds. Value of item, 25 gold is 2,500 copper. You want that made, uh, so that'll be 21,250 copper to purchase that, which you can do. 21,250. Oops. Um, and what else did you want? Steel. So, so how much money? Could you please tell it in gold? Nope. Copper economy forever. So how much copper? The cost of the steel bastard sword is 21,250 copper. All right. Uh, and if I'm supplying the steel? 21,250 copper. <sighs> Whether you supply the steel or not. The steel is not the... Um, 212 gold, Neo. 210. Yeah. 212 gold. With the steel I'm providing. But you're, you're... So what I'm saying is that you're giving him this, and then he's going to give you a sword back. You are providing it, but how should... You're, you're not... Your money doesn't double count, right? You are either giving him the steel as payment for his work, or you're giving him the steel to use it with. Either way, it's going to come out to the same price, right? Like, wow, so because if you give him money to buy steel, then you just, like, I don't. You can either so pay steel... him money and he'll buy the steel from you, or you can give him the steel and then pay mm -hmm. him for his work. Either way, it comes out to the same price. Like having steel on hand does not decrease okay. the value. But it's you know kind of I mean? weird that the the material is not even half the costs, but. I mean, yeah, I can do that. Yep. Um, so that's... How long... So, wait, the steel... Wait, 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 wait. wait. The sword is worth 250, uh, 250 gold. Right. What? What? I'm right. confused. How much wow. does the sword normally cost? It normally costs 2,500 copper for a, a bronze or brass sword and when you make it out of steel it becomes significantly more expensive costing twenty one thousand two hundred and fifty copper so wait let me so i have to deduct the two hundred wait you you you're, you're, um so okay. I how much you have 30 and... pounds of steel on you you got yes. 30 times 50 times okay, 25. Let's... now we're going to subtract the cost of the sword that you just bought 21250, you have, after you purchase the sword, 16,250 copper left over. Uh, that is how much in pounds? You're making this really complicated, Neo. It's this really economy. not. This is. It's really not. It's at all. It's also after 12 a.m. here, so. <laughs> you have 13 pounds of steel left. Thank you, thank you. So I have a steel bastard sword and 13 pounds of steel left. Maybe have Connor 
do kind of th thing. Connor, what do you want to buy? Uh, I want to buy a steel short sword and four steel daggers. All right, a steel short sword. Do, 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 do. And then whatever do, I have do, left do. over, just convert it into cold hard gold. All right, each of your short swords is going oh, to cost you 6,750 copper. All right, only one, so I'm at, start off 50,000 copper. My 6,700, what? 6,750. I. And, and what then, else did you want to buy? Uh, four steel daggers. Weight of item is one. Cost is... Daggers cost 100 copper. 200 copper. Um, so each dagger is 1,875. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then I'm going to convert the rest of that into... 357 gold and five silver. Because I started off with half the steel. We had 100,000 steel. I had 50,000. I subtracted. There. Fine, fine. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. Okay. Uh, Kathlum, you gave all of your money away. Right? Yes. Yes, okay. so I donated it to the victim. You donated it to the victims' families. They are most appreciative of it, and they all swear that you are doing the Lord's work. All of the Lord's' work and the ladies' work. You're doing the right thing. They appreciate it. <laughs> you give paladins everywhere a good name. And adventurers in shenanigans a terrible name because no one else is doing this, just you. Um, okay, Zen, what are you doing? I didn't have nothing to do. You're just chilling? Yeah, I'm probably drinking. Alright. Or as I should say, watching yet another one of my movies that are all exact copies. <laughs> you watch the same movie over again. Yeah. What is uh, Zen's favorite movie? Rum. 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 Yep. Okay. Rum's a pretty good movie. It's just yep. an hour long video of someone pouring rum. <laughs> It's just like a rum cask with a leak in it that just keeps dripping out. Oh. <laughs> Into a cup. Yep. Okay. Um, that evening, everyone is gathering back at shenanigans. When you hear this... <laughs> coming closer and closer. From where? Outside. Uh, well, I'm going to mirror image again. Because, because I, at some point I probably dropped the mirror image. <laughs> you can do that infinitely, right? You've got unlimited it's mirror images. But I have to do it again to do it as an action, but I can drop it. But you it can cast instead. it as many times as you want. Yeah, I'll take a look outside. Uh, there is another mechanical chicken, but this one is like 200% larger than the other ones you've seen. And it's a chicken so it's, instead of a turkey. So instead of being probably like a foot tall, it's three feet tall. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what does it appear to be made out of? Uh, brass. Okay, very well. Can I see the thing inside? Uh, nope, this one has like a chest plate over where the pilot would be. Uh, it seems okay. to have had an improvement to uh, improve pilot safety. Okay, so... He can't see anything. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> it's hard to tell. He could have a, a clever system of mirrors attached to, like, uh, tubes Periscope. and attached to, like, an eye thing. There could be periscopes coming off in every direction. It's hard to tell. It's a giant mechanical chicken. Wait, wait. It's actually not. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. Uh, it All right, has arrived at the door of shenanigans. Okay. How big is it? It's three feet tall. The yeah. door three opens. Feet. No, Wraith form first. Um, <laughs> Zen immediately yeah. turns. Are you two out of spell slots? It's the same I, day. I, I had time to rest. I swapped out my fireball since I couldn't use it into <laughs> okay. Wraith form. Okay. Um, I'm going to jump behind the bar. 
You throw yourself uh, behind the bar. Desmond immediately starts shouting, Gwathir, get the fuck out of here! What are you doing behind the bar? No customers back here! Uh, meanwhile, I, Zen, I is, the <laughs> Zen is a uh, wraith forming. Uh, Shag is looking uh, out the window and. I, it's walking towards shenanigans. Mm -hmm. or wherever the fuck we're at. Yeah, I'm gonna go hide. <laughs> you run to hide. Kathlam. Kathlam, is there any other patrons there currently? Plus, Kathlam's probably reasonably badly injured, so still moving very, very slowly. Yes. So if it if it begins to make an attack, he will interpose himself between the creature and the nearest civilian oh, with his shield. But uh, <laughs> but unfortunately, it depends on what happens next. So Wait, okay. So you kind of like look and start to get your stuff together, but you don't make a move in any direction yet. The patrons from the tavern and look over to the door as it swings open and the mechanical chicken is there. Um, let's... And I'm hiding. Okay, so you're hiding. You got throw. You jumped over the bar and then got shooed into the kitchen. Uh, you're a ghost and you're like getting your shit ready but not sure if you're gonna throw yourself in front of it or oh, not yet. Oh, it's probably freaking cog. Okay. Um, the chicken walks in the middle place, like, bang, twings up with a, a sudden spring, and hopping out is Cogrunch Hammerbench, the, the gnome ah. from in town. Uh, he goes and climbs on a stool and just orders a drink yeah. like a regular day. I was ah. waiting. I'll probably at some point walk past and was like, nice, you got the front protection on there? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good improvement. Scared mm -hmm. the shit out of us, like, PTSD's flaring up a bit, but. Oh! How my apologies. Wait, oh, it's all good. How do you see in there? We have full cover in front of you. A gnome never invents and tells. I guess I'm just going to go look at how he sees out of there as I'm a ghost he missed. <laughs> uh, you're not sure. Hey, there's this like front plate that folds down and there's dials and little windows and little thingies all over it. But it's kind of confusing and nonsensical and it's upside down right now. And you're not really sure where the gnome positions himself because the chair is on like a spring with a, like a ratchet next to it. So you can like lower yourself or raise yourself in the chair, which would mean you're looking at different things that when the top comes down, it seems wildly overly complicated and um, kind of ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, it'd be probably a bitch for anyone else to use but the inventor. Yeah, I want you to know, Neil, the plan was to actually ghost inside and st just murder the gnome without having to deal with the chicken. <laughs> I see. <laughs> so, you've built one after studying the, the remains we gave you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh. Built it in a day. That's what hey, they should say. Hey, Cog Ranch. Mm-hmm. Uh, say you were to build... Hmm. You want a bigger one, don't you? No, actually, I, I can see one. right on through you. No, 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 I want, I want a smaller one. But the thing is, I kind of want it to follow me around, like I don't have to be in there. And that's, I think, I just hit my roadblock right there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But would it be possible for you to build a smaller one? Maybe if we made it out of bones and found a necromancer to animate them, mm. it could follow you. Okay. Hey, do I appreciate you. Cat Helm slowly and. As he trudges sort of <laughs> his way across the room in relative pain, uh, approach the gnome. So, gnome, mm -hmm. would these creations of yours, mm -hmm. would you be uh, willing to produce some for the realm of order and law? Uh, these could likely provide a great deal of security to. Uh, I'm gonna lean over and was like, he's broke. Absolutely. If you would pony up the cash, I'll make him fast. You'll need to what find a pilot. What would be the cost of such creations? He starts to rub his hands together. Well, the industrial, the military industrial complex knows no bounds. You have quite a bit of cash to throw around. I'm sure we'll come to some sort of bulk order agreement uh, where we'll both be quite wealthy. Well, if you can detail that, maybe I can send a letter to the church. The church? Yes. I told you, dude, he's broke. I do not work for peanuts, good sir. I work for cold hard cash. 
church has nothing for me. But you find some money, and we'll build you a whole flock. Catherine slowly trudges back to find somewhere to sort of, like, he, he, he finds somewhere he can support himself because he wants to be standing, kind of pr pr providing that lawful, strong visage while being in acute agony. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. Wait, 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 wait. Is there anything else you guys want to do here? Yes. I was kind of hoping you guys were just going to attack the chicken and kill Cogrinch Hammerbench. <laughs> yes, Guafia is kind of going to a place where the paladin can't see him. Sure, um, you you go, you head out to the backyard. No, he, but he can still, uh, not, not can't see him, but yeah, yeah, no, he, he will cast ventriloquism, um, mm -hmm. and head back in, kind of with his back towards the paladin. And we'll then, um, project his voice right next to the pattern's ears. And what do you say? And kind of using his actor um, proficiency to kind of change his voice. Careful. Careful. Do I detect this as being someone using magic against me, I wonder? I mean, you hear a whispering in your ear and you see no one there. Uh, so it's probably either a disembodied spirit of some kind or maybe some divine intervention or maybe it's someone playing a trick on you with magic. I don't know how you would decide what the cause of this is. Wisdom. Wisdom. Catherum. This cause... The great one. <laughs> the gullible paladin. Catherine, <laughs> this is your only lord. You're w the one you worship speaking. Your idea, this cause, is worthy. Follow it with your heart's will. Build me an army worthy of a stair. The uh, the pandas is an answer, but he wouldn't show if it was divine intervention anything out in the open because that wouldn't be right because you because it's divine intervention you would do that within right. your own mind. Mm -hmm. So in, in your own mind, which Bastion definitely doesn't know or can hear or anything no. like that, what do you say to your god? Uh, Forester, and uh, may we progress law and order, and he mm -hmm. will endeavor to complete this trial one day. Uh, how so how are you going to go about completing this this thing? Well, we'll have to see over the next coming sessions about how much. Money <laughs> <laughs> also, Gothia stops there because he know he he knows he can't really read his thoughts. <laughs> All right, God, the stone is rolling. <laughs> I think we're going to end our session here for today. You successfully survived the Mecha Chickens and an attack by a green dragon. So mm -hmm. uh, congratulations to everybody. Let's get some experience here. Also, you guys got bank. Don't tell me you don't get any money from this campaign because you all just got filthy rich. I have oh, yeah. a question. I have question. Say, I well, that's because you decided awesome. to stay and drink at the bar instead of going through the portal <laughs> yeah. to the other dimension. Hey, that's fine. Zen has learned you don't go through portals. You just don't. It never ends well. But then you also it ended well for paid. us, bro. I got them <laughs> dragon schematics. I got 80 pounds of steel that I also generated. Sure, you also get chased by a green dragon. Barely lived. Not but ending. The thing is, Without risk, there isn't that much. Fucking, fucking hate Logitech sometimes. Um, Count it is duty. Like, these are a good headset until you have to plug it in and charge it, and I don't know why. <laughs> mm. uh, question, um, what would actually be the uh, advantage of s steel armor uh, against bronze weapons? Is there an advantage? Uh, or... Plus one to AC. All right, then how much? I, I looked it up. Um, the chain chest I wanted, I thought about what cost. 281 gold and 25 copper. I will 
mark that off. You want to buy want. chain mail? Chest. Oh yeah, I used I, I used your um I'm gonna I hope you don't mind I double check your math. Yeah, uh, chain chest. Uh, I looked. Oh yeah, I looked at your uh, partial armor thing. If you don't want to use that, chain uh, chest would be twenty eight thousand one hundred and twenty five copper. Yep, that is. Yep, so two hundred and eighty one gold, and twenty five. Uh, two silver, five copper, and you can afford that. I have four hundred and forty one gold and five silver. I had two. Oh wow, you're fucking loaded, Guafir. Yeah. I had yeah. 280. I never spent any money until now. Yeah, so. well, it's all yours then. Take it. Um, I am still calculating experience, and I just closed my calculator with how much I had there. So give me a moment. Um, this is for the chickens that you all killed. You turkeys, turkeys, chickens, the fowls that you killed. Uh, let's see. You also defeated Ish two evil forest gnomes that live that no longer live in the forest, but live underground. Mm -hmm. uh, they were each worth a paltry amount. Would you say was ah, a, paltry. a paltry amount? Yes, yes, it's a good one. And uh, you survived the dragon attack. With a grease spell, thank you very much. Yep. And you gave Cogridge Hammer Bench, he invented a bigger chicken thingy somehow in a day which I don't know if I should give you or take experience away because that is a dangerous thing to have in town, but let's just I'd give you some experience. We've got a, I could have know, given we've them got the got dragon, a dragon into, the into the town. We've got skeletons delivering mail. Yeah, why doesn't everyone take home a thousand experience even? Woo, I level up. Congratulations. Uh, and that is. Ooh, I still don't level up. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Come on, big time. One d eight for this wizard. Five. That's good. Wonderful. I just checked how much Zen needs for experience, and that's it's a lot, isn't it? It's hilarious. Okay, I have to check how much I need now. Uh, I am slightly over halfway to leveling up as a rogue. I now need. 20,000. All right. Oh, about halfway. Wonderful. Level four. Oh, yeah. How many spells do I get per level? New spells? Uh, you'll have to oh, look it up. It depends on your level and everything. It's not. No, uh, I mean, set new amount. spells. New spells. It depends on what level you're coming from and going to. It's. No, I mean. Oh, you mean to, to learn, like to. Yeah, to learn. Oh, uh, Zen, how many new spells do you get per level? Uh, you get to choose three. Okay. All right. Do you have to roll right. for memorization of those? No. Not in shenanigans. Not in shenanigans. Wonderful. Okay. All right, everybody. This has been Goofy. Uh, this has been shenanigans. We will be back next week with more shenanigans, as we do every week. I think somewhere near Christmas, we'll probably miss an episode or two. Probably somewhere in December. Sense. I don't know where, but I'm expecting we will probably not have shenanigans on the 22nd. Fair enough. Um, mm -hmm. Makes sense. And I don't know about the 29th. We'll see. Well, Hopefully well. we'll have it on the 29th, but uh, it depends on travel plans and everything for everyone. So, uh... We'll be back next week for sure with more shenanigans. And uh, we'll have Frofo tomorrow. It's an hour early and it's going to be an hour shorter uh, in duration. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Oh, it's, you see everyone, it's going to be an hour shorter because Neil's going to kill the party. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Everybody's laughing. <laughs>